Well, to be honest, it's funny as athletes, you know, one of the earlier questions was what motivates you and Meb talked about this, but just like always feeling like your best performance is still in front of you. And so I, I kind of say like my highlight, I'm hoping is still in front of me. Um, but you, there's some real special moments. Foot Locker, I remember I was so, I was really bummed out after my race because I, I had high ambitions. And so I remember I went out and did a little like time trial on the roads after the race because I didn't get all out, get my steam all out on the race course. <laughs> so, you know, Foot Locker is a bit disappointing, but probably my senior year in track uh, at California State Meet running 402. I'll never forget coming through Bell Lap, and this is in Sacramento, and my split was 301, and I was trying to break four minutes for the first time. And I remember the hair on my arms, like I was already super tired, but the hair on my arms like actually like stood up because the crowd was just like going crazy. Like I, you know, I've run in two Olympic games, and I've still yet to hear a crowd that was quite as enthusiastic as that moment at the California State Meet. So, um, you know, in high school, you get to run in front of some pretty awesome crowds and you guys will experience that tomorrow. Highlights starts right here. I mean, for me it was win the first league championships, then state championships, and then qualify for full locker. I only made it once. And I was runner up to Alan Col <laughs> Alan Adams here and then try to make the Olympic team. So it's a stepping stone. We don't say I'm gonna be an Olympian. You reach for the stars, but you gotta have benchmarks, goals to achieve those. And for me, those are the stepping stones. And I wish I could say there's more ahead of me, but I think I could hopefully win a few more titles. Be nice. Ladies, I, I remember uh, what really got me to see the lights. Um, and I was a sixth grader. And I was cut off in Illinois in junior high. You have a state, uh, state championship for cross country. Uh, but it's only eighth grade from sixth, seventh, and eighth. And I was cut off the team, and my coach didn't give me a reason why, but other than there was all eighth graders on the team. So I wanted to prove them wrong that I should have been selected, and I ended up uh, running the, back then, the TAC uh, Junior Cross Country Championships, or now known as the USATF Junior Olympics. Um, and it was the midget division in 1992 in Mobile, Alabama. and. Uh, National Cross Country Championships, I ended up winning it and surprising them, and I remember just seeing uh, Fed's eyes, and I realized, like, this is what I want to do, and this is what uh, I want to reach for. You ladies want to give one? Julie? Uh, the highlight of my career was winning the um, middle school gym mile against all of the boys, <laughs> and it's pretty much been downhill since there, so... Thank <laughs> you.